this is just a quick guide to show you how to make money using a risk free option when you're using price boost from bookmakers. What is a price boost? Simply, when the bookmakers normal odds are increased, normally on a promotion, certain days, etc., they will give you better odds to entice you to place a bet on that. Quite often, they can be accumulators where you need two or three different things to happen. An example might be Liverpool to win, Mo Salah to score, and the score to be 2 0. The bookmaker is increasing the likelihood of that bet failing by adding more options, or they're giving you better odds for it. Another way of doing price boost is just simply to bet on two or three teams to win. Here's an example here with Skybet. Skybet do regular price boosts, some are good, some are not so good. This one's not bad. Chelsea, Liverpool, and Napoli all to win to play in the Champions League. Normal odds on Skybet are 5 to 2. They have boosted their odds for this occasion up to 5.5. This is the des decimal odds, okay? Um, I've already bet on this, as you can see, won't let me place another bet on it. But I'll just give you an example of how to lay this to make a risk free profit. So the odds are 5.5. You need to make sure with the betting exchanges that it's smart kids bet fair that the odds are obviously less than this for us to make a guaranteed profit. So I'll just go into one of the betting ex exchanges that's smart kids. You can do a search for ACA, which will bring you up all the options they've got if you want to bet on two or three teams. You can see they have the exact same selection here as the price boost from Skybet. What you want to do is you want to bet on Skybet at the odds of 5.5. The maximum bet on price boost quite often will be about £10. You can't place any more than that. You then want to lay the bet on Smarket so that you can bet against Liverpool, Napoli and Chelsea all winning. Odds on that are 4.1. At this stage you want to work out if you can make money on this. Using one of the sites that I use called Profit Maximizer, they have a betting calculator that easily tells you if you can make money on it. So as we can see with Skybet, its odds are 5.5, Chelsea, Liverpool and Napoli all to win. With Smarkets, if I wanted to bet against that, it's 4.1. You simply go to the calculator, this is what we call a qualifying bet your own money for it. The bet amount is £10. The back odds on Skybet is 5.5 decimal odds. The lay odds laying against that outcome in Smarkets is 4.1. And there's a commission of 2% at Smarkets on any winning bets. So you need to calculate 2% commission in the calculator. Simply click calculate and it will tell us that if we place this bet with Skybet we bet against it as markets on these odds, then your guaranteed winnings will be £3.21. Doesn't matter what side your bet wins. If the accumulator wins a sky bet, you win £3.21. If it doesn't win and you win the markets on the exchange, you also win £3.21. So this is a risk free bet. It takes a couple of minutes. You make £3.21. Now obviously it's not it's not going to be a case of putting every boost on some boosts don't give as much profit as this one, it's just an example, it's very very easy to do. If you thought that accumulator was going to come up or, or would want to bet against it, you can also alter the bet. So if you want to lay more against it, you see that the bookmaker bet will win less and your lay bet will win more. But if you want to just be simply a risk free profit, you just click calculate and the calculator will just tell you exactly what to do. So what it will tell you is you have to lay £33.48 in Smarkets. So you just simply go into Smarkets, lay £33.48. It will tell you um, what your liability will be, which is £41.79, which as you can see ties in with the calculator. That's what you pay out on Smarkets if you lose a bet, but remember you would win obviously at Skybet on the other end. So no matter what the outcome is, on this price boost, you will make £3.21. Not all price boosts are worth doing. Here's another one I was looking at earlier today. And it's with VWIN. They offered a price boost on the Mo Salah to score first in the Liverpool game. The price boost was 4.33. And I checked the betting exchange to see the odds against it. So if I wanted to bet against Mo Salah scoring, let's say with Betfair, 
is 5.7. So if I just put this into the calculator, you'll see the difference, okay? So they're offering 4.3, that's with the boost odds, and Betfair laying against it is 5.7. So if I actually calculate that, if I do the same boost with P1 on Mo Salah to score, you would actually lose £2.58 if you actually bet against it on the market and put the boost on at £10. So just an example that the all price boosts are worth doing. You have to remember that a lot of the bookmakers' odds are very bad compared to the betting exchanges. So you need the odds to be quite similar. Fees are limited. You can't do too many of them. If you keep doing them with the bookmakers on a daily basis, eventually your account will get restricted or even banned. So that's just a free warning. You can't do them too often. But sometimes they're very, very easy profits to make. Where can you find the price boost? Well, on the Profit Maximizer website, which I've left a link below in the YouTube video. If you just look, look down the left below the video, you'll see some links to it. On Profit Maximizer, they have a calendar and they have daily offers. If you just go through it all, and it tells you all the offers of the bookmakers that you can make money on potentially today. They have a price boost one. Click on that, and you'll see that the outline Chelsea, Liverpool, and Napoli all come in. 5.5. At Skybet, 4.6 at the exchange. That the odds have actually went down in the exchange since this has been posted, but the odds can fluctuate because obviously it's a daily game. There's a lot of bets going on. So, just to summarise, um, on the price boost, compare the price boost of odds to Betfair and Smarkets. Just make sure the odds are quite close before you consider on doing it. Check there is enough money in the market. This is very important. So before you place your bookmaker's bet, check there's enough money in the market to actually lay your bet. So I'll give you an example. Betting against Mo Salah, you can see there's only £11 in the market. So depending on how much you're betting on, you might not have enough in the market to actually lay that bet. So it's very important to just check there's a lot of money in the market. You'll we'll find quite often for accumulators with teams, two or three teams, big games, there could be thousands in the market so you won't have an issue. Sometimes not to these smaller bets, it can be an issue. So it's something that's very important just to check. Okay, make sure you need the minimum odds on a price boost. Sometimes you can have minimum odds um, when you're laying against bets. So that's something just to check. With price boost and accumulators, it doesn't really make much difference most of the time because they've selected the games for you. But with any other offers, just check that they have a minimum odds criteria if you have to place a price boost on, say, one individual game. Change the bookie odds to decimal. You're probably used to going to the bookmakers and putting bets on at ten pound, two to one, three to one. If you're going to do it online, if you're going to do any match betting using calculators, change the odds and your settings to decimal. It's a lot easier. Use the betting calculators. This is the calculator that I showed you earlier on. It's on the Profit Maximizer website. It's very very simple. It will tell you exactly what you need to lay, how much money you're going to make, how much money you're going to lose potentially if you place a bet. You can make, make a bet more profitable if you want to lay it or if you want to put it on with the bookmakers depending on how the outcome is going to be. It will tell you what the probability is on the outcome as well depending on the bets. So it's just something to make sure that you do. This is a qualifier bet. If you've got three bets from the bookmakers you would change this to a stake not return bet. So if you had a £10 free bet and the odds were 5.5 on the price boost and there were 4.1 on the betting exchange. You do a state not returned, and it would tell you that you would make a profit of £10.81 either way. Okay? So that's a state not returned, but if you're using your own money, you have to make sure it's all selected and qualifier. They have some other um, calculators on other websites, like OddsMonkey. So you can go in there as well um, and check that. But I find the profit maximizer one for calculators very simple, it's very, very easy to use, it's pretty straightforward. Don't complete every boost offer. If you're doing price boosts every day with all the bookmakers, eventually your accounts will get restricted or even worse banned. Bookmakers don't like you making money. If you're betting consistently on price boosts, they may also think you're doing match betting. So just a free warning. So it's not worth doing a price boost with a profit of 40, 50 pence. It's only worth doing them with a 3, 4 pound maybe. 
check the links below the video, hope you've enjoyed the video, hope it's explained a few things, how to do price boosts, um, there's some special offers on the links below, it just explains how to sign up for the betting exchanges and some of the betting websites, they give you step by step video instructions to make mystery profits.